Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the group. I'm Rachel Arazzo, your intuitive divination mentor. I hope everyone is having a wonderful Saturday. Happy, happy weekend. I missed everyone yesterday, but I thought, um, well, mainly because I was waiting specifically for something to come in for me. So now that it's in, <laughs> I decided to go live so I can show everyone. And I also have a couple awesome announcements. So first off, um, those of you in the Colorado area, as you saw today, I shared, um, turning this down. I'm watching my daughter today. <laughs> uh, my husband is taking his, his him day, so I am watching my daughter. Say hello if you come in. Tell me hashtag replay if you are seeing afterwards. Let me know how you are, how your weekend is going. <laughs> so, when it comes to um, those in the Colorado Springs area, or at least the Colorado area, I have some announcements. So first off, you saw uh, today I shared that I'm doing a live in-person workshop tomorrow. Yes. Hi, Kelly. Wave. Hi. Um, so I'm doing a live storytelling workshop, helping creative writers, even artists of all kinds, to use Taro as inspiration for their... Um, for their stories and this is what I've done I'm I've published three short stories a couple of poems and four plays so this is the method that I used hi Maria to Maria is probably gonna be there hi Maria because <laughs> you're in my area um, this is the method that I have used to actually do readings and create stories in the past so i'll be doing a local workshop tomorrow at one o'clock feel free to follow that event that i popped up here in the group and it'll tell you the location and the address and everything also starting in september i'm going to be doing some full moon and new moon circles for the colorado springs area through the tamed wild apothecary you know that place that i keep doing uh <laughs> unboxing videos for and i keep saying how much i love well i'm working with them to do sacred circles in the colorado springs area um a few of them will be out at garden of the not garden of the gods which would be amazing but um we'll be doing memorial park first um, you can grab tickets through the Tamed Wild on their website. Like I said, this will officially start in September for the September 24th full moon. So feel free to join me. And I'll be doing those on top of doing the Moon Sister Circle with Susie, who is also doing her... Um, we're both getting our circle leading training in. <laughs> I'll be leading the circles here and she's getting official certification for it for her area. So... Because of that, my, my toddler is climbing all over the bed. Excuse me. She's trying to break my computer. <laughs> Jeez. Okay. On top of that, I wanted to show you something that I got today. So, um, even before... Oh my god. Liliana. Even before actually doing, um, having the meeting with the Tamed Wild, I had grabbed, both me and Susie had grabbed decks from them because there is a, um, we have the Wild Moon Lunar Phase deck by the Tamed Wild Apothecary. You can go on their website and go grab it. We both grabbed one to use for the Moon Sister Circle and mine came in the mail. So I want to show you what it looks like because it's so freaking gorgeous. So first off, when I opened up the package, <laughs> they gave a um, how to charge your crystals card, which I got one of these anyway with the subscription box, which, by the way, for the circles that I'm doing, I asked them specifically. So are the rituals we'll do, we're doing in the area, are they going to be from the House of Rituals box, the subscription box? They said, no, these are super secret and special. So they're not even advertised. Um, there may be alcohol inv involved. You might be getting my special witchy uh, cranberry and champagne if you come to come to see me. So if you're in the Colorado area for your full moons, come see me. 
But uh, this was a part of one of the kits I got from them, which is a wonderful little guide for people who are new. They also sent these beautiful watercolor... Uh... Actually, this one's a sticker. Which is beautiful. I'm totally sticking that somewhere. It's going to take me forever to figure out where, though. They sent me some postcards, too. So they sent me a lovely crystal postcard with an envelope. These are probably never going to be used. Um, unless you might be special and get a special note from me, specifically. And they gave me a beautiful moon one. Ah, they're beautiful. I love it. <laughs> Kelly, why do you have to be halfway across the continent? Come visit me then. Come to Colorado. Like, seriously, um, all this week, everyone that I have been talking to, you may have noticed, I sent out stuff to the email list saying, I want to talk to you. I mean it. I want to talk to you. Um, I have been meeting with people all week, which is another reason why I didn't do the live yesterday, because I have been back to back talking to people on the phone about their practices and seeing how I can support you. And I even had a couple people come into the Colorado area specifically to come see me so we can talk in person. Like I know Hyacinth was there. Um, I went and I talked to Lauren. I wanted to meet with Cindy, but I wasn't able to meet her up at Garden of the Gods. But come see me, <laughs> and that'll help so much. Okay, so for the actual unboxing. So this is how it looks it, in comparison to my hand. It's, it fits in my hand. Um, and then on the back, it's all watercolor. I love it so much, which I love watercolors. And on the back it says, A Wild Moon Lunar Phase Deck by the Tamed Wild. Navigate the month with Moon and her cycles. This deck includes 28 Moon Phase cards, one for each day of the lunar cycle. Harnessing the energy of the Moon by using these cards to guide you through her nightly phases. Each card includes beautifully hand-painted art phase influence, history, ritual, lore, mantra, and associations. Ah! I'm so excited! These are specifically going to be for the Moon Sister Circle. Ooh! That's the sides. Oh, I love it. Okay, inside. Of course, they have the little plastic thing on it that I will probably always keep it. It's gilded. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm so excited. Ooh, okay. So these are what the cards look like. Beautiful. Oh, I love it. You're so glowing. I know. I'm so excited. Well, also because uh, Lauren Runick, um, Runk, you're going to get mad at me for mispronouncing your last name, but... She came to also see me today, and our little ones had a little witchy play date in the pool, so that's also why I'm glowing. I got to have witchy friends come see me, as well as talk about taro and stuff. So this is like the icing on the cake. Lily, hang on. Cowboy. I know you want him to be a cowboy. She turned it off. <laughs> Jeez. He has a cow. Cow does say moo. So this is the front of the deck, which is really cool. It's shiny. It is laminated. The cardstock is okay. I'm probably not going to be bending these. I'm probably going to be overhanding them. Um, it gives a nice little introductory... A little in introductory one. Bloop. This was created by the Tamed Wild Apothecary and authored by Jillian Christina. So thank you, Jillian Christina, for authoring such a beautiful deck. Um, it gives you a little about for her. I love that. You can follow her. Um, Off-grid rewilding journey on Instagram at at root underscore down and her Tennessee woman blog on our Sacred Sisters of the Moon site. So that's where I will be on the Sacred Sisters of the Moon site because that's where they do the sacred circles. So see if there isn't one in your area 
if you can uh, apply to be a sacred sister as well, because I would love having you as one of my sacred sisters. I love it. So, for example, the new moon, my birth phase is the new moon. Um, it gives you details on the back. So this one says, rest, reflection. It is in this time that we sit with our silence because it is the silence that the answers we seek will rise from the pools of our eternal void. Providing us the fodder in which to craft our highest centered intentions, which is so very true. It also gives some history and lore, how to create a ritual specifically for this space. Um, crystals that can go with it, so Labradorite would be good for the f new moon. And mantras. Wonderful. If I don't didn't already have so much going on. I know you have a lot going on. So Kelly, because you're here, and the other two people that I see there... Maria, and then one other person who didn't, whose name did not pop up for me. <laughs> Would any of you like cards for my brand new deck? And then I will interview it afterwards and share how the interview went and the things. <laughs> but I'm excited. This has been, um, I need tea. This has been such a really great week, you know, when it comes to chatting with everybody. Because... I made the intention of, um, before the eclipse week hit, I was having a really hard time with chatting with people in here. Philippa, there you are. Hi. Um, pop your questions in the chat then if you want a card from me. Um, I was having a really hard time connecting with a lot of people in this group because my energy was just super off. But now I'm feeling so much more free flowing and I'm changing my shift so that because the main reason I wanted to do this anyway was to make sure that people get the support that they need, you know, get the support that I never had. So I've revamped a lot of things. You might be getting some emails from me about new things that I've done. You might learn a lot more about me. I get really personal on some stuff. Um, but if you want to talk with me, please come have a tea chat with me. It's 30 minutes where we sit and we talk about your practice and I want to know your, your struggles. So please let me know. Oh, uh, the tea is wonderful. I also, for everybody that celebrated Lamas, I hope you had a wonderful Lamas this past week. Um, on the first, I made barbecue chicken. Some ho I found a homemade bread recipe. I made some homemade biscuits. And I made more of my, I made a batch of regular lemon and then my homemade lemon and lavender cookies that I did for the last, um, that I did for the summer solstice. Wonderful. Kelly says, how will my first study group session go? Sure. We tap into the universe to go see Kelly and how is Kelly doing with her energy this weekend? <laughs> Let's see. I love these. They're sliding so very nice. You can tell they're hand painted. Beautiful. You got the last quarter moon. So tremendous growth that like this is going to be um you're gonna need some decisiveness here because you've grown so much since the last time you attended one of your study group sessions or at least since you've studied to this capacity and now you have so many different things that you could offer but now you need to be decisive about what you actually want it's also a matter of you know what you need to do so you're a lot more reserved about everything. So even though you're going to have the group session, don't be afraid to say, I need to step back and keep some things to myself, you know? Ooh, yeah, you do need to tell me all the deets on your decadent oath. I hope that it's been going very well. What else would we get from this? You need to call on Kali if you feel like you need a little more strength. Open up your crown and feel your ego melts away. Burn some sage. 
and just really being decisive. That's what the last quarter moon is all about. Does that make sense, Kelly? She's happy she got her cowboys. Does that make sense, Kelly? It has. I might even be able to get a video of it. Awesome! I'm glad. Let me know if the card resonated with you if you have need any clarification. Wonderful. Philippa says, what can I do to grow my business? That's a wonderful question. I have noticed also that I have been venturing into helping those of you. So many of you are ready to start businesses for your practice. You just need to get some confidence under you. So really come talk to me if you have issues with that. Because I'm more than happy to help you out. I'm more than happy to talk to you about it, too. Okay. Trying to shuffle good because it's the first time. A circus? Very good. Waxing quarter is what you got, Philippa. So, things are coming together and you feel pressured to have to make a decision right now. But you need to reflect on what your intentions are because i i totally get this when you are so focused on whether or not like i need money 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 you lose your intention you lose the real reason why you started this in the first place so it's time to reevaluate and to re-examine and find where you feel confident again when it comes to how you can grow your business. Um, this is a time to make stable foundations. Even if you don't have the financial foundations, set up a schedule for yourself. Um, get your email list in place, things like that. So one thing that can help with this, work on your root chakra, which I agree. Um, and if you have not done any root work i really suggest the um introduction to chakras workshop um wear red for strength and fortitude hi lauren do you want a card let me know if you want a card hun and really um you're strong you know you are it's just a matter of you need to stay true to your intention don't don't veer off into Ooh, well, passive income is working for them. Maybe I need to differ from what I'm doing. Uh, don't do that. Yes, I am, Lauren. I got the um, Wild Moon Lunar Phase deck from the Tamed Wild. So let me know your question, hon. This will be... Uh, and those of you that are watching the replay that are in the Moon Sister Circle with me and Susie... You're definitely getting readings from these for the month of August. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? But does that make any sense, Philippa? Do you feel like you're trying to veer towards, you know the quick money route instead of building a stable foundation for yourself first. Cause I totally get that. It seems like a lot of people have been under that kind of money stress recently, or at least that stress to get things done. Thank you. I will do that shock work. Awesome. Do it. Your crown, your, no, not your crown. Your root needs some work. Lauren, what question do you have, my dear? And Maria, if you have a question, let me know. Excuse me, you leave the ibuprofen alone. Uh-huh, then she's gonna lay there and act like she ain't doing nothing. No! Put it back. Come here. Come say hi. Instead of messing with pills. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Well, fine. You can be a booger. You're good, Kelly. <laughs> Philippa says, I have lost my focus and try to get everything to get some money. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But the, think of it like the eight of, eight of Wands. 
if the wands are shooting off in all the directions, nothing's going to get done. Whereas if you put them all towards a t certain target, it's going to do better, you know, in terms of accomplishing a goal or knocking someone over, things like that. If we think of the literal sense of wands flying through the air. But in terms of your business, narrow it down. Keep your focus. It's going to be okay. You'll get money the longer you stick at it. I have all the faith in you. Lauren says, what do I need to do to prepare myself for the rest of the year? That's a wonderful question. This deck, because we all know that decks, certain decks have, um, they have certain questions that they're best for. Like there's love decks, there's money decks. Um, this deck feels very much like a long term reading like by the next cycle at least in that kind of sense i'm not sure you've seen it before what do you mean like the the deck itself yeah it's um this was the one in the tamed wild apothecary lauren that i'm gonna start doing the local circles for i got this deck from them What does Laura need to focus on for the rest of the year? Well, prepare for the rest of the year. Balsamic moon. There's slight dif differences. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw the question. You're good. These are very slight in differences. It just is a little bit of shading. So for you for this year, because it's the balsamic moon, you need to learn to rest. <laughs> Which I know is hard for you. You have so many things that you want to do. But the reason being is any emotional chaos you feel right now, it's time to let it relax. Okay, and just let it all play out. Okay, because you can't be superwoman for everyone. You need to work on your own health, you know? So, things that um, may help you feel better are like reading, writing, writing, yoga, if your body is able to, going into nature and really hydrating yourself. This is your rest and recuperation. You have been through a battle and you are still fighting the battle. So, rest is really good for the rest of this year for you, Lauren. You need to keep that in mind. Um, for the ritual, it's talking about a place mandrake root upon your sacred space as you meditate on Hecate. Um, ask for clarity, ease, and abundance. For herbs, you can also use garlic, which is also linked to Hecate. To invoke deities during their oath-taking ceremonies, incorporate garlic into your favorite recipe to open up the lines of cosmic communication. So, it's the opposite of what Philippa needed. Philippa needed to work on her root. You needed to work on your crown. Okay? So, allowing things to happen that you don't need to be up and go, 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 go. Let yourself relax and write. There's nothing wrong with that. That can be all the action you take for now. So, you get the balsamic moon. Does that make sense, Lauren? Hi, Melissa. Hope you're doing awesome. Not sure what you're laughing at. <laughs> but that's okay. Awesome, and Maria's got a question too. Great. I love that this is silver gilded. It's so different than um, gold gilded decks. So now I have two gold gilded and one silver. Woo! Yeah, yeah. But does that make... <clears throat> Woo! Throat. Does that make sense, Lauren? That hit the nail on the head. I've been exhausted and running on next to em empty. That's okay, Melissa. <laughs> Yeah, and I can understand that, Lauren, because, um, like I said, you're doing so much anyway, and your health needs to be the priority now. Let other people take care of you and heal you, you know? There's nothing selfish about that, okay? 
because your body can't take care of any infections or be a foundation for you if it's exhausted and running on empty all the time. So allow yourself a mini vacation. Go get your nails done. Sit there and read and write in nature, things like that. <laughs> I just got a message from Lauren saying, what? What happened to not working? Yeah, I'm working today. <laughs> But does that make sense? Let me know if you, if you're good with that, Lauren. I know you can do it. You need to write anyway. Maria said, "How can I grow my career?" That's a wonderful thing because we talked about that during your one-on-one -on -one session. Let's see. Let's see. How can Maria grow her career? Right, they are pretty. I love them. They're watercolor. They make me happy. Ooh. You got a waning quarter, Maria. So, for this one, um, hmm. It's talking about how you can start is by using the knowledge you have garnered through experience. We think of the hermit standing up on the mountain as somebody who's intentionally separated themselves from society so that they can flow through, you know, so that they can think in peace and contemplation you know you're at a very similar stage only it's towards the end of that hermit journey and needing to venture out which we talked about this how um you feel like it, it's ready it's time for you to move forward to actually get things done you know what i mean so how you'll get started for your business is by using your knowledge and experience to actually put yourself out there. It's completely valid. No matter what you may personally believe or think other people might say or what they actually do say, you're 100% valid. So now it's time for you to start your business based off of what you know. That can be something like writing a blog, doing YouTube videos, going live in other groups and talking about things that you know about your business or taro or magic or whatever you would like um going to local circles like tomorrow because <laughs> you're in my area and meeting with other people things like that so just getting out there because when you meet with contrast and you meet with something that opposes you then you grow even more you know what i mean so something to help with this is wearing black tourmaline to help with grounding. Um, meditating while um, creating a labyrinth in sand with stone or using a pen and paper. Navigating your way through it. Things like that. Right? <laughs> Lauren says watching this is making her really want these cards. I love these cards. They're so pretty. I'm going to do an interview with these afterwards. Um, and perhaps even doing something with the tree of life. You know? Something like that. To help with it. Maria says I'm so excited tomorrow. This is very insightful. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I'm excited to see you tomorrow. It's going to be fun. Let's see... Melissa, oh no, if the sound went out, try clearing your cache, hun, and refreshing. I'd like a little general reading if you can. Sure! Jam out to Elmo the musical while this is... <laughs> while I'm shuffling. 
general reading for Melissa. What does Melissa need to know right now? <laughs> and if no one else pops on, this may be the last one. This was only supposed to be a quick live. Um, this may be the last one so I can go feed this little toddler. Let me know in the comments what you're doing for your weekend. I know tomorrow, like I said, I have the workshop. I'm probably going to go explore bookstores and have myself my normal Starbucks. I, kept, I keep getting the mango and dragon fruit refreshers. So that probably will be what I'll do tomorrow before my workshop. Ooh, you have Melissa the Disseminating Moon. Ooh, so you're closer to the full moon. So, this one is all about transformation and growth. Ooh. As we move from the intensity of the full moon. Oh, so it's getting away from the full moon. My bad. We begin to feel this, feel into this new paradigm. We begin to feel into ourselves transformed. So, this tells me that, <laughs> that the, um, what was it? The eclipse week was especially transformative for you and very hard. <laughs> so now it's just a matter of um, listening into that inspiration, very sacral chakra base, all the changes that you've gone through. Now you have a million ideas popping around in your head and you just need to explore that and enjoy it. Not pick yet. Don't pick just one yet. Just explore it. You might go um, pick up a creative writing or drawing book. You might decide to go out in nature and, um, and sing or dance as much as you want. Things like that. Be very creative right now. It, this is a time of internal cultivation because it's the waning moon. So you're harvesting your internal... Um, fruits of your labor, not so much your external fruits of your labor. So one thing it suggests is to create your own inspiration elixir. So what calls to you? Is it like I was saying, is it a place or music like a playlist or a movie? Um, I specifically have a playlist for songs I find inspirational or moods that I'm in. Maybe you need to create one or find a place that makes your heart sing where everything can flow. Let yourself be surrounded by that kind of energy and it's just going to flow even more. Something else that it says is use an oil, not a crystal this time. This is cool. Uh, use bergamot orange. Be careful because it's citrus. Don't put it in your bath water. <laughs> I've talked about that before where I put it in uh, my bath water and it burned my whole skin because it's citrus and it's acid. So be careful if you bathe in it, but definitely use it for a diffuser. Um, because it helps with inspiration and empowerment. So very sacral chakra for you. I love it. Um, and for affirmations, it's saying, I hear the voice within, I follow it without hesitation. So that's the disseminating moon. That way you can look at it. These are so subtle in their differences. Ooh, you're very welcome, Melissa. She said, that's very true. I have a lot of ideas I'm drawing right now. Wonderful. Keep doing it. Keep drawing. I'd love to see what you create. Lauren says, I started on school clothes shopping, letting my daughter have a bit more input in that. I just said, don't go crazy expensive things since she can't uh, wear to school. Tomorrow I'm just washing and planning mine and her week. Good. Keep it easy, though. Take it easy. Wonderful. And you're very, very welcome. Awesome. Well, if there's anyone else, let me know. If not, I will very excitedly pack these away. Very, very pretty. I can almost see myself. Yeah, I can see myself in the, in the gilded. Oh, I'm so excited. They're wonderful. They're beautiful. Um... And like I said, if anybody wants to chat, if you are having issues with your confidence for your readings, if you want to talk to me about any of the subjects that I polled and surveyed everyone on this week, because I, I really meant it when I said I'm creating content around what you want, please come talk to me. Sign up for a tea chat with me. 
I would love to talk to you. Sit down for 30 minutes, talk about your struggles. So, wonderful. I hope everybody has a wonderful rest of their weekend. I'm going to go have dinner. <laughs> and I shall see you next week here in the group. Bye.